G'day folks, Ben from Snow is today showing you this Life Straw Go 2.0 water filter bottle. Hit it. This bottle features two-stage filtration to make any water safe to drink, removes chemical and matter and chlorine to make the water taste nicer, and is made from 50% post-consumer recycled plastic. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. So I've got in my hands here the 650 ml version of the Life Straw bottle weighs just under 250 grams. Measures about 27 centimeters in height and about seven and a half centimeters in diameter. Also comes in a one liter version and also in different colors, but the one liter version is just a little bit fatter on the bottom here. It bulges out a little bit more and holds a little bit more volume, but this is a 650 mil version I'm showing you here today. Now it's made from 50% post-consumer recycled plastic. Uh, so the bottom here is a, a resin, uh, a little bit flexible, so I can flex, uh, sort of bend that a little bit, but it feels nice and durable. And then the top section here is a much more durable plastic. Uh, quick tour around the outside, not much to see, uh, just what you would expect on a water bottle. It does have a max fill line here, so 650 mils you can put in there. You fill it to that point because when you put the actual um, filter that you can see inside there, that displaces water, so you need to allow for a bit of space for that water to, to fill up as you insert that filter. We'll start to sort of pull it apart a little bit. This top section here, nice big handle, I can fit three of my fingers through there to carry that, so nice and easy, nice easy bottle to carry. And you've got a nice big lid that fits over the top of the spout here. And this section of the spout is a rubbery sort of silicon material, also removable. So if you just unscrew that, all of these elements screw and unscrew, you can clean that independently if you like. All of these components, everything except for the filter, are dishwasher safe. So to put it in the dishwasher, you've got to remove the filter inside, which we'll do shortly. Before I take this cap off, I just want to show you the little hole here. That's got a little umbrella valve on the other side. So as you're sipping, this is where the air goes into the bottle as the water is just being displaced out of the outside. That screws back into place nice and securely there, and then the whole top comes off here. Now the filter is attached to the lid. Now important to note that this filter is unique to this 2.0 bottle. The older versions of this used to have a push version of this in here. This one actually screws into place. Let's have a look underneath the lid before I unscrew that. You've got a little umbrella valve here, and that can actually be removed if you do happen to get anything stuck in there or flow rates impacted, you can clean out anything that might be caught in there. Would only really happen if you're drinking really, really dirty water. Now this is where all the magic happens, this filter here. So I'll take this out. And there's two parts to this filter here. You've got a carbon section at the top and a microfiber section at the bottom. They both have a different lifespan and you can replace them independently by unscrewing this here. So you've got to use all this together. There's a different thread size there, so you can't screw this one straight into the bottle. You've got to use them independently, but this top section has a little carbon filter. So if you just push through the top here, you can release the little carbon filter. Now that does need a bit of priming before you use it. Just give it a um, rinse in some water to wet it out before you use the, the, the water filter and it's gonna make the flow rate a little bit easier. So 100 liters for the lifespan of that and you can get a new one of those if flow rate gets a bit um, or slows down and you can't suck water through it. But it's the carbon filter that is gonna remove chlorine taste as well as bad odor and as well as organic chemical uh, material, but it just reduces that organic chemi chemical material in the water, it doesn't completely remove it. So basically, that's what makes the water a bit nicer to clean. It's the bottom section here that makes the water ultimately um, safer to drink. And this microfiber section has a lifespan of 4,000 liters, so you're gonna to get tons of life out of the bottom section of this filter here. Now, another important thing to note is that this will remove 99.99 recurring percent of microplastics, which is becoming a bigger, bigger thing that we're more and more aware of nowadays. And another important thing to note is that it won't remove viruses. So if you are in an area where uh, viruses are present in the water, you probably need to filter it as well as chemical treat it to make sure it's safe to drink. But if you're getting water from a water source, like we've got behind me a river running through Adelaide here, um, I could go and get water out of that and filter it through this in a pinch, wouldn't do it out of choice, um, and make it safe to drink. Probably wouldn't taste very nice, but get me out of trouble. But really ideal if you're traveling, for example, um, and you're using tap water, uh, it'll go through this. You're not gonna clog the filter up too quickly because the water's already reasonably clean, but you're removing any of those bugs in the water that are gonna give you a stomach virus. Now to use the filter, if we put this back in the top here, so just screw this in place, just firmly, it doesn't need to be tight. They've got little um, rubber washers around it, so just so it's firmly in place. With that carbon filter there, before you use it, just take that out, rinse it under tap water to sort of wet the filter out. And the first few sucks out of this bottle here are a little bit firmer than it will be in the long run. So you initially, 
You just like just a little bit harder to get all the air through this filter at the bottom here and get it wet out and then it becomes easier over time. Now I personally haven't used this but I had one of our staff members who've got one try it right in front of me, made him fill it up right in front of me and use it and he was actually quite surprised about how easy it was to suck the water out through here. He was expecting quite a bit of resistance through the filter but it came out pretty easily. And you don't need to tip this up to drink it either. Even if the water's just full to about here, you can sip straight out the top like this without needing to tip the water bottle up. It does also work tipped up, but you don't need to tip it up or keep it upright. It will just come out as long as this filter here is submerged in the water somehow. So that is the Life Straw Go 2.0 water filter bottle. A great option if you want to turn your tap water, so you're like you're wearing Adelaide here, our tap water doesn't taste fantastic. This is going to make it taste a little bit nicer, but a really good option if you're traveling to countries where the tap water can be a little bit questionable and might make you sick. It's going to stop your barley belly or anything that's going to make you uh, or cut your holiday short. Use one of these guys because you can fill it up from any tap, sip it straight out, and you've got clean water coming out the top of the bottle here. The Life Straw Go 2.0 bottle. Check them out online at snowies.com.au.